what was the overall what was the overall point of, of of making something like this? Was it was it for spying purposes or what? Uh, yeah, yeah, I <laughs> yeah. Mean, I you think can it, say that. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty. Um, I think most of the project was pretty public. Um, oh, okay. Most of, most of our findings were public, so yeah, everything I'll say is is all stuff I published. So, um, yeah, the applications were both military and civilian. Um, the military applications were, um, you know, obviously like blending in the environment. You know, maybe spying and you know, gaining access to information we wouldn't be able to otherwise. Uh, the civilian applications were the same, but for animals, right? It was like mm-hmm. blending in with the the environment, blending in with the animals around you, uh, being able to study them, study the currents, you know, and have as less of an impact uh, on the environment around you. But I think one of the things that was probably a bigger uh, reason for proposing this project in the first place uh, was they wanted to have systems that were more efficient mm-hmm. and maybe more robust than what was out there at the, at the time, right? So like UA, uh, underwater vehicles, autonomous vehicles uh, tend to be these big like, 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 or small submarines, let's put it that way. They're like small submarines that they would just like, in the ocean and then have like a long cable uh tying it back to the ship okay right and then they would just kind of uh have to be where the submarine is okay right? but what inspired our project was the idea that hey animals are able to you know swim forever right yeah. like for long distances long periods of time there, there's no ship like feeding them as they go you know they're able to feed along the way and and so on so it was like how can we make um these underwater autonomous vehicles be more like the natural animals right so i think that's kind of what ins- inspired the project um, and the animal that was picked for our project was the jellyfish because it's it's very efficient it 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 doesn't swim very well in in terms of like speed or any of that but it's able to um to swim for very long distances and cover long distances without necessarily being a good swimmer hmm. so that's if you think about it that's actually a really good trait to have right uh, being able to cover long distances without necessarily being a good swimmer yeah so how do you do that um, so those are some of the things we were looking at with the jellyfish how is it able to cover such long distances without yeah. you know swimming that fast yeah if you build if you build a uh, a ship in the shape of a jellyfish you will go nowhere it doesn't have the it doesn't seem to have the aerodynamic uh, yeah. structure for <laughs> for, for uh, yeah. but not aerodynamic in this case but more fluid, hydrodynamic hydrodynamic yeah, yeah in this case yeah 